This is a voice recognition module from GE Tech that I've just received from Banggood. Once you set up the module, you could say voice commands and it will send a different 2 byte data for each command using word communication. If you connect a microcontroller like for example Arduino to it and receive those bytes through the RX and TX pins, you could control things like motors, lights or any other module just using your voice. In this video, I will show you how this module works, how to set it up, save the voice commands and use it with Arduino in this robot arm project. So let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. This is the voice recognition module from GTech bought from Banggood. When you receive it in the package, you will find the module, a small microphone with a 3.5mm mono jack and some female wires. To communicate with this module, we will use these 4 pins. These are the 5V TTL level word interface with the RX and TX pins. So, the first thing to do is to check the user manual for this device. You could download the manual from a link below. Scroll down to serial commands. These are all the commands that you could send to the module in hexadecimal format. So, for example, if we send this 0x00 to the word interface, it will enter into waiting state. Read what each of these commands do because I will only explain the main ones. Ok, before that we should first establish a serial communication between the module and our computer. We have two options. First is to buy an FTDI module like this one. The link is in the description as well. The second option is to use the FTDI chip that the Arduino Uno already has. For that, first you should carefully remove the 8 mega chip and connect the wart pins. Be careful, in a normal wart communication you would connect the RX to the TX and the TX to the RX pins. But using the pins from the Arduino Uno you should connect the TX to TX and RX to RX for this part. Later we will connect them normally. If you use the FTDA module just make a normal connection. Also supply 5 volts and ground. Ok, we have our connection, now we should send bytes to the module. Using the Arduino monitor that would be impossible because it works only in ASCII format. So you should download the HTERM platform from a link below. This program is able to send direct bytes to the Arduino. Open the program. Select the used COM for the Arduino, in my case COM6. Select the baud rate for 9600 because that's the speed that the user manual gives us for the stock configuration of this module. Next, select ASCII format for the received data in order to understand it and the new line at CR plus LF in order to have a line jump. Also unselect the show new line characters. Down on the input control select hexadecimal format because that's the format that we want to send. Now we could send commands. Before any 2 byte command you should first add the AA characters as the manual tells us. The first command that we will send is AA00 that will put the module into waiting state. As you can see I received the waiting response as the user manual tells us if the module is into common mode. To change the mode into compact mode just send AA37. But you should leave it into common mode for now so you could see something you understand while configuring the module. So this module could record 3 groups of 5 voice commands. But you could only import one group at a time and that's a bad thing about this module. 
so we have a total of 15 commands separated in 3 groups. What I want to do is to fill all these 3 groups with these commands. I want to control a servo motor robot arm. Hello and goodbye will turn on and off the robot arm. Hello. Alright. Goodbye. Perfect. Move will put the arm into moving mode and also import the next group of voice commands. Now we are in the second group. Here we could tell the arm to move to the left, right, down or up or make a salute. Each of these commands will import the third group where we can stop the movement of the arm and also import once again the first group and close the loop. That's the bad part of having 15 commands divided into separated groups that you could only import one by one. Finally, I want to control the extra two motors of the arm with the pitch command. Once again, I will have pitch left, right, up and down. So let's record our commands. First, send the AA04 command to delete all groups if you have a new module. Use other commands if you want to delete the group separately. Now all the groups are empty. To record your own, you have to send the AA11 command in order to fill the first group with your voice commands. But before you do that, get ready, because once you send that data, it will start recording. In order to get ready, you should know. The voice command should be maximum 1.3 seconds long. You should speak only but only after the start message. Don't get confused with the again message. In order to save one command, you should say it two times in the same way. So let's start. I insert AA11 and press enter. When the start message appears, I say my first command. If it says again, it is ok, that means that the first command was recorded. When the second start appears, I say the same command once again. There you go, successful! The first command is saved. Now it will jump automatically to the next. I do the same, but in this case, to show you an example, I say a different sound for the second attempt and it will give me the different error. Now it will start recording the second command once again, since the last one was an error. I do the same for all 5 of them, till I get the group finished message. Let's see the entire process in real time. You have to be snappy. I'm now into waiting mode. AA04, delete all groups. AA00, once again into waiting mode. AA11, and I start recording. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Move. Move. Pitch. Pitch. Grab. Grab. That's it. Group 1 is finished. Ok, so my voice commands are saved. In order to make them work, I have to import the created group, which is group 1. For that, I first send the AA00 instruction to put the module into waiting mode, and next I send AA21 in order to import the first group files. Now anytime I say the recorded voice commands, I will receive a different data from 1.1 to 1.5 like this. Hello. Goodbye. Move. 
Hello. Hello. Grab. Pitch. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. But if I want to use these commands in Arduino, I don't want to receive the result message characters as well. I only want the 1 1 to 1 5 bytes. So for that, before we use it with the Arduino, we should set it to compact mode, sending first AA00 to put the module into waiting state and next AA37. Now compact mode is selected. Now when I talk, I will receive the square symbol. But if I change the receiving format to hexadecimal, I can clearly see the data. I receive the number 1 for hello, 2 for goodbye and so on. I record all of my three groups with the desired commands. Ok, so now let's look at the Arduino code. My idea is to create a voice control moving robot arm using 5 servo motors. It is a very simple example. The STL files for the 3D printed parts are in the description ready to download. I have printed them using my Tron XY X5 3D printer with two perimeters, 15% infill and a 0.3mm nozzle. The robot arm is very easy to build using 5 Night G servo motors and some sort of a base. So in the Arduino code, in the setup loop I first send the AA00 to put it into waiting mode. Next, I send AA37 to make sure that it will be into compact mode. Finally, I import the first group by sending the AA21 command. You should always put the module into waiting mode before sending any command in order to avoid errors. Now in the void loop I will receive 2 bytes each time I say one of the voice commands. I will be using servo motors, so depending on the received data I will increase or decrease the position angle of the servo motor and by that moving the arm. I connect the servos to pin 3, 5, 6, 9 and 11 because those are the PWM pins of the Arduino Uno. Remember to put back the Atmega chip and now connect the voice module in the normal way, RX to TX and TX to RX. pitch down success the robot arm is controlled with my voice make sure you read the entire user manual and all the commands and play with this module around don't use the serial.print function because that will just send sc format use the serial.write to send instructions Always add a small delay between the send commands, like for example 100 milliseconds. Ok, let's see another small example controlling some LEDs. I've recorded the voice commands from 1 to 5 and this is the result. 1 2 3 4 5 5 1 3 3 
four, two, three, five. So you could control anything instead of LEDs, just like this. Maybe create a five digit password and open your door. Or say something to turn on your room light. The choice is yours. That's it. Now you could build your own voice control robot or control lights in your room. Or maybe even open the door using just your voice. Make sure to use commands that are not alike. Otherwise you will have the same result for different commands. Always check the links in the description for more information. Read the comments in the code to understand more. Also, check the coupon link in the description if you want to buy this module. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share the video with your friends. If you have any question, just leave it in the comment section below or my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. If you consider helping my projects, check my new Patreon page and help my workshop grow and have more other cool tutorials. Thanks again and see you later guys!